<laughs> was it fun for you to do? Oh, I had such an amazing time. I didn't stop laughing from beginning to end. And I'm still laughing. Yeah, Who's great. most guilty of that? Because there are a couple of great comic actors in there. I would say Kevin Bishop, who's one of the funniest people I have ever been around. He's just hilarious and never stops. He's he, the gentleman with the Nazi yes. moustache. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's wonderful. It's okay for me to say that. Because that's in, it's in the film. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, they're amazing, and Chris Marshall is really funny and a great actor, mm -hmm. and Xavier is amazing, and um, Rebel, fantastic. They're all wonderful in the cast, and of course, um, working with Stefan is a blast. Yeah, they're wonderful time. What, what about your character? Because your character yes, starts off the rails. <laughs> yes, she does. Did you, did you have to be coached in that? I mean, you're such a nice <laughs> <laughs> did, did people explain how to be a woman behaving badly? Well, I knew I had to, you know, there's no way I could have gone halfway with this. And um, I, I talked a lot with Stefan about how, you know, how far to go. And he said, kind of, you just got to go with it. And I just went with it. And it was, I mean, I knew I had to do the script because I, I read it flying from America uh, to over here and was laughing out loud in the middle of the night at Dean Craig's script. It was so funny. And uh, he wrote uh, Death at a Funeral, which was one of the funniest movies I've ever seen, too. So I was just. In stitches, I thought I need to do this part. I didn't really know how I was going to. I just knew that I, I wanted to, and I'm really glad I did. Had a great time. You weren't apprehensive about any of the going mad and yeah, doing lines of cocaine I because was, yeah, you know the Australians love you and and we don't want to see you do anything silly. So <laughs> that's you know, true. It's part of it. So I, I was, I was, uh, yeah, I was apprehensive a little bit about that, but um, but I just thought the character was great. She was fun. I half expected you to flash a chest at some point. Oh, you did. <laughs> 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 it's getting pretty out there. I was like, where's she going to take it? I draw the line. You just, <laughs> I think you were right to draw the line. Well, we didn't actually... It didn't we, ask me. I should be worried about that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Why would he at least suggest it to you? I mean, we didn't actually see you no, do it. No, it was insinuated. It was insinuated. Yeah. Mm. So it's it okay. Now, there, there was a, there's, there's a sheep in there. Did you did you did you get on well with the sheep? Yeah, the sheep was really sweet actually, and it, uh, it had its own trailer. Oh really? No, and it was it was really hot in the film, so they had to keep it cool because they did, we didn't. It wasn't shorn, so it would have its coat for the movie. Oh. But actually, it shouldn't be shorn because it was warm. But um, it was a very sweet animal. Do you? It's much sure. smarter than you think that. Animal. Had a better trailer than you did. <laughs> you had a better trailer. <laughs> yes. Did they, you ever keep in touch with the sheep, or is it uh, it's gone? No. Yeah. The guy who was taking care of him, I think, bought him, didn't he? Yeah, bought him. Bought him, so yeah, inseparable. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. Yeah. What, what's his real name? What is his real name, Ramsey the Sheep? No, it's, what was his name? He didn't have a name, but then we gave him Ramsey, yeah. and then Ramsey stuck, so now he's become Ramsey. He was just called Sheep before that. Yeah, Ramsey. <laughs> I've always thought the interesting thing, but I don't know you might find this offensive, uh, but the thing about lambs is that they're the perfect animal, as far as I'm concerned, because they're one food to cuddle, but delicious to eat as well. That's true. They are. You don't eat lamb, do you? No, I don't eat lamb, so I can, I can look Ramsey in the eye. It's big photos behind you, Olivia. I can look him in the eye, and I don't have to feel guilty about anything I've done. Not even Ramsey. How do you get on to this? I don't know. Let me, one thing you, you can say, and that she was actually, when I got to directing Tough with the Sheep, she was the first defender of Ramsey. Oh, yeah. Oh. You stood up for Ramsey. I stood up for Ramsey. Mm. How much time are you spending in Australia? Um, I come back about, well, about four times a year, because I have um, a book in the hospital in Melbourne, a cancer wellness centre. I have guy retreat and spa as well. So I'm there, I, and I, I have a home in the Byron area, so I love to come here and just, it's my place to just relax as well. Would you ever do undercover boss at your own spa retreat home where you could dress you up and, <laughs> and then go in there and they're like, oh, it's me, Olivia. No, because that's a good way to keep your eye on the spa. Oh, I don't have to worry about them, they're great. I mean, um, we're all friends, the owners were all with best mates, so it's an amazing place to go. And that's a funny idea. Free massages. I, I dream yeah, of that. Exactly. Do you fall asleep when you get a massage? 
Um, almost. Yeah. We're going to that in the but we have the best mice. Have you ever been out to go? No, it's but awesome. I'd love to if you're off. So right. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> we have the best, the best uh, treatments and massage up there. And if anywhere around the world, I usually wait to get back there. Go oh. on. It's so good. It's a nice one. Get in the queue behind her and do the shape. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is a really, really fun one. Um, it's hilarious. Yeah. When, yeah. when um, when was the last time you did something like this in Australia, as far as, you know, work-wise? Well, I haven't done a, a comedy here. Um, I don't think I've ever done a comedy before. Except when I was really, really young and it wasn't intended to be a yeah. comedy. <laughs> 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 but uh, no, that, I think it's my first and I'm, I'm really thrilled it was such a good company. Well, how did you get approached about doing it then? If well, Stefan, who you know, appeared yeah. charming up, Stefan Elliott. Yeah. Yes. He and I are friends, and we talked about doing a project about four or five years ago that never happened. So he was on his he was on the lookout for me for a while, and he rang me up and I said, I think I found the part, so take a read. And then that's when I read it on the plane coming over, and it was just hysterical. <laughs> it was so funny, such a funny script. You don't often find, uh, I've read a lot of movie scripts, and usually they need work or tweaking, and when you read them, you go, well, you know, with a bit of work. But this was just funny, just right off the page, and that's unusual. Is, is it hard to read a script and, and see how it's going to be in the end? Because you hear all these stories about people saying no to films and going and be massive. Well, you never know, really. I mean, you can make a movie and really believe it's going to be the best and it's nothing, and then you make something. Like when we made Grease, for instance, Paramount didn't know what to do with it. They thought they had a turkey on their hands and they really weren't sure. So you just never know. You never know when you make a film how it's going to go. So, yeah, it's nothing about it. Okay. Did, 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 you, did you know at the time that you know, it was going to have such an amazing effect and it continues to have an amazing effect? No, I didn't know. Of course not. <laughs> it was amazing. So, um, you, did, you did come for two weeks and stay. What's that? You came for two weeks and kept on staying. That was interesting. <laughs> That's right. When was the last time you saw Grace? The last time, oh gosh, I can't uh, just so it happens to come on yeah. TV, I'll catch a movie, but I don't sit down and watch it, but it's that way. What, what, about, what about music? Do you, do, you, do you sing along to your own music? Put it on and I'll say that. Only if I have to do a show and warm up my voice. In fact, I did new music for this for the movie, for uh, a few best things. They took the uh, the music from the movie and I re-recorded them and they've been done as dance tracks. Oh. So the first one is Mickey. Remember Mickey? Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's just coming out this week, I think. So that was fun, that was really fun. Steph produced it, he did an amazing job. Music producing as well as director. Don't know <laughs> Did you have, what sort of role did you take with all of the younger actors? Because there's a whole generation of, of the newcomers. Was, were you all just buddies or did you mother hand them? I probably mother hand them. And I was the mother to two of them anyway, to Rebel and Laura, so yeah. um, I don't think I took on that role. Did they? Which um, I liked. Did they try and corrupt you at all? <laughs> I don't think they needed to try very hard. <laughs> it's not really in the script. <laughs> but, um, no, I have a daughter uh, that age, so it comes naturally to me. Mm -hmm. Girls that you know, the same age as my daughter. So it's not really... Of all your wonderful fashions and things that you've worn over the years, is there anything you look back and go, I think I'd like to try that again? I'd oh like to... my goodness, the 70s and 80s, some of those, I've got some of the hairdos and. It is funny. And I will probably look back now, in you know, 20 years from now, and laugh at what you probably laugh at today. No, it's about laugh at those beautiful poems you wear. I don't think I'm hot myself. But, um, no, yeah, some of the crazy here do. I'm sure everyone has those freak out moments about old photos. I don't laugh now. Yeah. Anymore, which is funny. Well, it's a fantastic film, and thank you very much. Oh, thank for you. Nice talking to nice you guys on the radio. And on radio. Vision. Yes. I, um, one last thing that I will say is that I have to make a, a very serious apology to you. Um, I'm not sure whether you remember when you did an uh, interview with Kathy Griffin. Yes. And she said something really terrible to you mm -hmm. because someone had interviewed her and suggested that it was a. a, a was that you? Yes, it was me. <laughs> that, that, that it was a, great, a greeting. <gasps> and, oh. and I. I just did an interview with Kathy once and, and I said, G'day, see fe features. As, it was a bit of a joke and I didn't think it was going to... And then I was, I was watching the television one day and the episode turned up <laughs> and, and, and she sent it to you and I've never felt more in my life that I'm someone I grew up with, have always adored, 
and I was there at the Arias, standing up and you got in the Hall of Fame, cheering at the, you know, at a table, and then that happened. So I'm so sorry that, that she... Oh, was. that's very funny, isn't it? It's kind of karmic thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was, I must tell you, that was one of the most what, nonplussed, I mean, you know, some, when she said that to me, was like, oh my goodness, I'm on camera, and she just said that. I can't believe she said that, and does she really believe that? <laughs> and who told her that, me? <laughs> now I know. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and I hope really you accept funny. my apology. Oh, yeah, of course, thank you. Thank you for owning up. Yeah. <laughs> you are blessed, my son. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, so much better. <laughs>